is a secret you never knew about your PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo consoles. Let's check it out. I bet you didn't know that you can watch YouTube Wait. while playing on your console. What? If you send a message to a friend, I even can go on the, the internet on the PlayStation 5. Google.com. Okay. You can click on it and access the PS5. You get internet access browser. straight away. There, you can search practically any page. Oh my goodness, you could be watching this video whilst playing games, including YouTube. Once inside, you can search for the video you want okay, to see. Okay, watching a and video. Do what is known as a pin. And then pin to side. Which side of the screen you <gasps> Yo, want the browser that's to be seen. So you can start good. playing. And you will see that your video that continues to play perfectly. That is actually incredible. I bet you guys are going to actually use that. That's so good. Yeah, if yeah, any of you guys like got console remotely, apps or talk with your friends, download games, now, they have centralized getting preloaded. everything. Change the graphical interface and, in short, made the app very useful. What can you do? One of the most practical things you can do with it yeah? is to manage the storage of your console. Really? As long as it is in sleep mode, you Dude. can see everything you have installed, how much space each thing Whoa. occupies. If you own a console, you know how quickly that thing fills up with space. You can also edit them from the console. You can edit pictures? It's not a super powerful Wait, editor like Photoshop. But at least Dude, you can do things still like putting custom text on the text, screen. Change the color Whoa. and text position. And That's in short, really cool. make it a, you can press this microphone button Ooh. and start dictating. Oh, wait. And the what? PlayStation, write out this message. Hit the like button if you own a games console. That's so Specifically cool. Specifically the PS5, this is a wow. super practical option. Since That's the really DualSense good. has an integrated microphone, and therefore, it is very easy to I'm talk to I'm learning so much, my mind is blown. magically become text. That's amazing. If you press these two buttons at the same time, you can make your DualSense oh. go into pairing I mode. I did know this. And the coolest thing of all is that the DualSense not only works with the PS5. You can do it with your phone. You can use your DualSense on a computer, iOS devices, yeah. Android, on a Mac, You can literally Apple sync TV, them up. On an Amazon Fire TV, and in a lot of things. That's so, so cool. So yes, the DualSense is not just a good computer controller, it's also very compatible with other devices. Yeah, you could literally play games with this on your phone. If you want to play with your PlayStation 5, but the TV is being used by somebody else in your household. This was me every day as a kid. Tell me more. You can use the remote play function. To use it, you just have to Wait. download the remote play app oh. on your device. And from That's there, so... you can control your PS5 from anywhere in the house that has Whoa. access to the network of your console. Devices that support this feature are Windows, That's so Mac good. computers, Android, or iOS Whoa. devices, and even a PS4. It can be done using I did it on the PS4. But obviously, it works better if your device is connected to the PS5 by a network That's cable. That's so obviously, useful. there will be a bit of latency, but it is a good workaround for games that are not That's so competitive so useful. while the TV is not available. Yeah, you probably don't be playing FPS games, but hey, if your parents are watching the news, you could be gaming on your iPhone screen. One of the most interesting functions that the PS5 has Hit is me. the option to take the audio from the voice chat yeah. and convert it into text. Wait, what? This was designed as an accessibility option Enable so that people text who have hearing transcript. problems can better interact with what, the other live? players. What, as it's being but said. even if you can listen without problems, it is also a good alternative when you are not in the mood to listen to other people but still want to have an idea of what they are talking about. Oh, that's crazy. This is not supported by all all games but the games that do support wow it, that's actually so useful for options to other super players including people all over the world that may limitations not be able to, to hear or see properly than the rest of us that's so this good but what about my xbox for this you're gonna need the xbox app installed on your remote phone, controlling your remote xbox in the console's device and so we can play our playstation on our together. phones how do we do Once it that's on our up. xbox over on your phone you just need to tap on the console icon up remote play on this device screen, and then you can use the app as a remote Control oh. to swipe your way around oh. menus, watch oh, you videos, anything that doesn't necessarily require the full controller. Oh, experience. you can use your phone as a controller. You notice at the top of the menu in the app. That's so cool. Magic words. Remote play on this device. Yeah, that's what I saw. Tell me more. That is right. You can play games oh. on your Xbox right there on your phone, and it is ridiculous. Oh my. It's just a case of syncing up an Xbox controller over Bluetooth. And you can stream Damn. whatever your Xbox is currently up to. So you can you can connect your Xbox as well to your phone. Dude, I'm starting to think I'm just going to be gaming wherever I want. Hey, I could be in bed playing PlayStation or Xbox with a phone screen. You never need to be separated from your favorite game again. Love it. Did you know that you can Hit control me. your Xbox without even having to use your hands? It's what? true. 
you can control your console using only your voice. Alexa! Like the assistant like Google Home or what? Amazon Alexa. Tell me more! To do this, first you have to make sure that the power mode of the console is instant on. Okay. Then, go to settings, devices and connections, digital assistance, and select Digi the option enable digital assistant. I didn't even know that was a setting! Once this is done, you can now configure your device to recognize your Xbox. Dude. For example, if you are using an I Amazon, got Amazon Alexa, yeah? go to the Alexa app and install the Xbox skill. Log in ah. with your account, activate the skill, and you are ready to go. I knew Amazon Alexa's had skills. I didn't know they had gaming ones. What's it gonna you can do? Use commands like Alexa, tell Xbox to turn on. Whoa. Alexa, turn off my Xbox. What? Alexa, turn down the Xbox volume. Or Alexa, launch Rainbow Six Siege. Alexa, get me a victory royale. A super practical tip that can be very useful That's on a so day-to-day -day basis. Yes, I understand that the problem is that although you can control your console, yeah. you have to turn on the TV, and you are very lazy to use the control of your television or stop the turn. I it think on, you can right? walk around this. Don't worry, you can have your Xbox turn on automatically. Yeah. When your Xbox turns on. A lot of TVs do this now. Power mode and startup setup screen and select TV and AV. I think power the Switch options. has this as well. Check the HDMI CEC box what and the? you are ready to go. That's a In weird fact, setting. You can activate oh. or deactivate even more specific options, Dude. such as your console turning on or off other devices, or that other devices can turn off the console and even have your console send volume commands to your television. Dude, this Xbox, honestly, the Xbox settings are kind of blowing my mind. Xbox has an option called Copilot, Co which links two controls so that you and another two. player can use them as if they were one. What? Go to Why? settings and then to controller and choose Copilot settings. Why do you want to do that? There, you can select turn on Copilot pilot and select which control will be the co-pilot. This what? was designed as an accessibility alternative for ah. players who may be unable to use the controller normally, but it is also a way That's for cool. two players to play a single player game. Wow. In addition, it is a good option for an adult to help the little ones to enjoy oh, that's games a good that idea. use more. Or you give your friend a controller, you mess around and make them really bad by moving the sticks on your controller. Why don't you tell me what this button is for? What button? I hear you. <laughs> the sync button, okay, surely. Okay. Normal gamers will say that this button is used to synchronize the controls yeah. to the console, which is true. However, only true Wait. super players know that this button is also IR an receiver sensor that the Xbox yeah. use so that universal remote controllers oh, or what? more traditional TV remotes can control your Xbox. What? I'm going to be playing games with my remote control now. Look, I love all consoles. Anything cool for my Switch, okay? Hitting A three times to open it. Yes. Well, every single button makes the same exact sound except okay. the right control stick. Wait, what? Left control stick, ZR trigger, and ZL trigger. Wait, I've got my Switch. I'm playing Pokemon on at the moment. So let's try this triple A. Okay, that works. What if I try this? What? What? What about this one? What? What? How did I never know this? We all lose controllers. Yeah, who else has left a control down the sofa? Uh, you set it down for a second to go do something else or answer some text or something. And it's then when you get back, you just gone. can't remember where you left it for the life of you. I don't know where it, it is. If you're looking for a Joy-Con, though, uh, you Ooh. have an easy way to find it, at least, as long as it's still If on. I lose if it... If you pop back out to the main menu and hit the controller options, yeah. once in that controller-specific menu, find you controller. just have to select Find Controllers, Dude. which controller you want to find, and that Joy-Con will then start buzzing for as long as you hold that button. Lost your wallet? Lost a TV remote? I need something that would make it shake and make a loud noise. It's pretty useful if you just misplaced it in the it's middle of the It's super useful. It's definitely a cool feature to have on a console. Really like a cool. I rate that a lot. Not a lot of you may have a next-gen console. So what about PS4? Here's how to navigate your PS4 menu Ooh. screen as quick as possible. Just use the L1 Ooh, and I did R1 know buttons that, to skip from left to right. So you bounce you between the menu really quick. library as quick as possible. Well, now you can. Just Look hit the that's R1 button rapid. and you Most people know that you can use the touchpad or your smartphone to type messages but a lot of people seem to forget that you can tilt to type just press the r3 button when the keyboard pops up and start typing i hope dude i've actually used this and it sounds weird doing that but bro you can type rapid with this honestly if you don't want your friends seeing you go oh. online when you log into your playstation oh, this is useful just hit the options button before you log in and select log in with offline status i never knew that did you know back in the day the playstation 3 i think it was didn't have an appearing offline mode xbox did Thank goodness PlayStation has solved that one. Here's an easy trick that lets you quickly switch between applications. Just Ooh. double tap the PS button and it takes you back to where you were. 
Need Wait, to go back to your what messages? Do you mean? No problem. Just double tap. Oh, it's what? that easy. Most people don't. How did I never know this? I feel like someone's putting an iPhone in front of me and telling me how to use it for the first time. Know that if you hold down the PS button for 10 seconds, it completely disconnects and turns off the controller. Whoa. You can also hold down the PS and share button at the same time to activate Bluetooth pairing. This We've learned that one already. Yep, you can also pair these controllers by doing those same button combinations. Wanna use it on your phone? Good to go, baby. This next one actually okay. shows you when your PlayStation controller is done charging. Ooh. If you go into your settings and enable power to USB in rest mode, your light bar flashes orange while it's charging, and as okay. the charge increases, the flashing slows down until Whoa. it completely turns off when it's done. Whoa. Now so when this goes off, you'll be like, okay, I know it's fully charged. That's so useful. Here's one that will actually save you a lot of battery life on your PS4 controller. If okay. you go into your controller settings, you can set the DualShock light bar to dim and Ooh. also turn the speaker volume all the way down. Down. Oh Doing yeah, this will significantly increase the battery life of your controller. So there's nothing worse than playing a game and hearing some weird voice and finding out that this thing is projecting extra audio at you. Don't get me wrong, I think a speaker in the controller is quite cool, but no one really needs it. This next trick lets you take quick screenshots with no delay or lag whatsoever. Oh, I think I know Just this. go into your sharing and broadcast settings, then select share button control type oh. and choose easy screenshot. Now you can oh. click the share button and get an instant screenshot. If you do this, you'll never miss that special moment again. Damn, I used to use that button and hold it down to record PS4 games plays if I'd forgotten to record on my PC all the time genuinely inbuilt console recording one of the best features ever created how you can use your controller to zoom up on things that you might not be able what? to see just go into your settings accessibility and oh. enable the zoom feature what? now you can press the ps and square button at the same time to Whoa. zoom in use the left analog stick to move around and then press the circle button oh, to cancel damn, have you ever wanted to, to remap your controller buttons to other buttons for certain games well yeah? now you can just go into your accessibility button assignments and what? now you can customize and reassign oh. them to your liking oh. last but certainly not least oh. i wonder if people do that in fortnite to get cracked out well you don't need to do it anymore i guess you can do it in game but maybe you could create some crazy button combos to become the world's best fortnite player this one does a hard reset for troubleshooting hard and fixing any oh, issues wait, that you what? might be having with your controller Dude, just use that. a paper clip or toothpick I've to hit the small right reset there. button on the back of the controller hold for at least five seconds and then let go hopefully this fixes your issue most people know that when your playstation is on yeah. the controller light is blue yes however since most people don't have more than one user on their console they never get to see the other colors oh. interesting enough if you have at least four active users i, I think on the one other one's console, green or red what you'll notice is as you switch between user profiles the color changes yeah i did know blue that is for player one yeah red is for player oh, I said two red green for three and green and pink for player four pink i never now, knew what's that even more interesting <gasps> is what these colors actually no way represent. i never realized this if you look at your controller buttons what you'll buttons. notice is that the color pattern is the exact same ah, x is for player one circle is for player damn, two damn that makes for so much three, sense square for player my four. mind is so blown hit the like button if your mind's blown too to guys i hope you enjoyed those secrets which is your favorite console let me know in the comments click on screen to watch another video quickly i'm about to disappear i'll see you over there.